So, you want to be a competitive Warzone player? Get up! Or maybe just a little less bad. Well, I've competed in the highest level invitational tournaments for Warzone, so today, I'm going to be your coach. And with that, let's work on getting higher kill games more consistently. Even though I am dropping it to Ashika Island, the same principles are going to apply for Almazra. I normally land at a contested POI and prioritize finding a primary to use. Where you land and how many people land next to you is going to determine what things you should aim to get. For me, I'm around a lot of buildings with people close by, so I'm keeping my eyes out for any SMG and some plates. Cash is also extremely important, which is going to allow me to either get my guns or UAV early on. And it looks like we have enough for both. Now, not every start is going to go this smooth, but the goal is to end up where I'm at. A full set of plates and a loady gun. Today, I'm rocking the Vel. I'm really enjoying this build for just its mobility and that quick reload time. It looks like we have at least three people in this general area. Uh, I'm going to wrap to the right and put myself in a better position to single out this person on the outside. This way, I hopefully can avoid any third parties. Luckily for me, it looks like player one got the best of Warzone's audio, but now I notice there's two players rotating behind. So I'm gonna do my best to either get a quick pick or I'm gonna rotate out of being sandwiched. There we go, I was gonna say, I just need these guys to fight real quick, man. No way. Oh my God. And sometimes you just gotta press circle harder. Because I made the early decision to move to a better position, the two teams converged on each other and I avoided being pinched. I'm able to come in at the end, clean up some kills and make a skillful play of smack in the living daylight to the last guy. Now that our first fight is out of the way, our goal here is to find the next team to fight. At the early stages of BR, map positioning isn't overly crucial. So in my mind, I think, especially in respawn mode, just go for as many gunfights as possible. It's gonna be the best way to improve and really just learn the game quicker. I personally like these two apartment buildings. There's normally a couple teams here and there's a thousand different ways to maneuver between these teams. As I'm working my way up the stairs, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on the UAV to gauge their elevation. And I'm also gonna keep my crosshair centered on any common lines of sight. I think I know. Real quick, I talk about doors all the time, and this is a great small example of how useful they can be. I close the door after I throw the ammo crate, and the player loses their line of sight on me. Instead of having free shots, they're either forced to either push me, or they're just going to hold their angle to see if I come out. It was a good play on their part as well. If they hit more shots, I definitely should have gone down there, especially mid throwing a flash. I don't get the full, but I do know there's a second player up there. Oh, beautiful help. Beautiful help for my man's here. decent play. We slammed Salamander Sam prone by the door, but there was some decent players and I couldn't escape all of them. Oh, where's my man's at now? Yo, he just left me. On my redeploys, I'll either go for my loadout or my loot like 99% of the time. Again, you want to take as many gunfights as possible in my opinion, so I'd rather not waste too much time looting and I'd rather risk just getting my guns. I know there's a lot of players here, so we're going to grab my guns and get active. And that was a quick wipe. Not much to say other than I continue to move between players and do my best to predict where the next person would be. After the initial knock, the second guy must have been out of ammo. All I do is reposition myself to avoid being in the same location for that third player. Oh, 
got him one e. Damn it, lot. I kind of want to land on loadout. Come on, man. Y'all got to dip off this. How can you live with yourself? How can you live with yourself, man? This time, we're not so lucky, and that team will not leave my loadout alone. So we're going to go to our next best option and force a regain. Luckily, I'm uncontested and redeployed with over 5k, so I can easily get my guns back. At this stage of the game, map positioning starts to matter, and teams are going to be more forced on the outer edges of zones, so I'm going to start wrapping towards those edges and see if I can find something. I think I hear footsteps inside of this building, so I'm going to use this hop-up to enter in at an off angle. And that's a quick, easy move to help you really reach out anyone. I escape their initial shots. I sprint underneath cover to let them think I'm running away, but then I immediately reach out out in the open. This will work best when you have your attack sprint available and you'll see they got caught looking the wrong way. After I get that wipe, again, what I'm gonna do is push towards the edge point of circle to find teams wrapping in. We spot one, but instantly get lasered by another. If you have the luxury to reposition, do so quickly to force the other player to again either chase you or they have to reposition themselves. I'm now in a much stronger position and easily get the wipe on the pistol player. And now I can refocus on the team in front of me. We got us a pick here. It looks like this team just finished fighting and I'm in the perfect spot to third party him. If I wasn't trying to make this MK2 work, I probably could have had some free picks. Oh, that was such a dumb ego out of me. Ah, that guy's a bullet, man. Yes, the ISO hemlock is probably the smarter wow, choice. We actually almost beat a hemlock with that. That's nuts. Ah, such an amigo child. All right, so we've all been here, right? Redeploying late game, not a lot of great options. I can either land with my team, force my loot, maybe on a buy, or land just in a strong area and pray for the best. I don't like the idea of forcing my loot or landing with my team that's out in the open, so I'm going to decide to land near the buy at the apartment buildings. This is where your experience will take over, right? The more comfortable you are with your environment, the more comfortable you're gonna to be to move through this environment as you're taking on multiple players or teams. Got a little wild. I didn't expect so many people to still be here. Oh my god, there's a kid drowning in here, bro. What in the... Now I quickly grab my Vel, the MK2, and I start to focus on this end game. I know there's at least one team coming from Castle, so I'm gonna look there first. This is a bad spot to be in. They got the high ground and I don't have a lot in between me and them. But this stage, all I can try to do is get out of here. If they decide to peek at the right time or there's someone on the other side of the wall, really not a lot I can do. I'd be dead here. Luckily, neither of those things happened. My teammate gets knocked and I try to throw a lethal in their direction to help, but both of them do go down and now I know where at least one of the final teams is at. This is not good. I think this is the sweats from earlier. I recognize that this is the decent squad from earlier, so my best option is to not stay and play this heady because even if I get one, the other two will quickly rip me off it. Instead, I want to move the best I can to single out players without giving their teammates a chance to shoot me. Also, I have no ammo. 
Hmm. I think I'm dead here, to be honest. Right now, I'm thinking the only way we win is either wait and go for the 1v1 at the end or just get a quick wipe early on and go snag their loot. I've said this before, but using the storm to rotate is great for in-game, especially if you have a gas mask. Perfect. Now I can fight. I have a durable gas mask in the zone pool to me. I don't really need to force anything. I mean, this is pretty much it. No! Let's go. <laughs> yeah, the fashion. I love it, dude. That's hilarious. And you probably noticed me mention things here and there where the outcome wasn't necessarily in my control. And that's just how BRs work. Uh, there's only so much you can do before a little luck comes into play. So don't be too discouraged in your games if they, if they don't feel like they're always easy. Regardless, thank you guys so much for checking out this video today. If this is the type of content you guys enjoy, please let me know down below. I know Warzone 2 is in a weird spot right now. Regardless, thank you guys so much for the views on the video today. And until next time, I'll see you all soon.